Well, we got another package. All right, let's check it out. Oh, good doggy. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have something from Army and Outdoors. Feel free to check them out. Army and Outdoors. This one is out from New Zealand. So let's go ahead and get you out of the way. Thank you. Let's see how we can get this open. This is the bottom of the box. So I usually want to come in from this direction. Okay. So let's empty this out, make it easier. and outdoors and this manifest does have sample pictures and descriptions for the items here so here's some examples so if we start off here with a France flag PVC patch in olive drab. So you can see there PVC material, hook and latch, and it's pretty thick material there. This one says Uganda made in China. So kind of aftermarket flag here. You can see some sort of polyester material possibly. Yep. 100% polyester made in China. It does have grommets, some hems, and we have Uganda's logo there. Very nice. I don't know if there's any other identifying markings on here. I have one Ugandan flag. We'll put that up here. Over here, a Kenya flag. Let's see here. This would be helpful if I look at the picture on the manifest, too. All right, so you can see the colors. And I do believe the black is on top with the spear points, as you can see there. The shield, and then the rest of the halves on the bottom. So, Kenya flag. Okay. One more flag from Benin. Another 5x3. This one's made in Taiwan. Interesting. So, Uganda was made in China. Kenyan was made in Taiwan. And the Benin was made in Taiwan. It does appear that we have actual segmented shapes. I do believe yellow is in the upper right. Green facing the flag with red on the bottom. Next up, we have what was listed as an East German memorial scarf and doily. So it's a package set. I think this is a commemorative item. So you can see here, even on the packaging, there's that. Oh good, it just slides up. So we have the packaging. Let's set this down here for now. As well as the doily. National Volksarmee. You can see the actual material has left an imprint on the flat section, which is kind of neat. But you can see the full doily pattern there. And then here is the memorial scarf. Okay, I'm not sure if I read that correctly the first time. It's rather large, and I believe it's 
goes in this direction. So quickly, we'll take a look at the outer panels first. You can see some hardware there that points up in the air. I'll let you figure that out. I'm being up to some purpose. Here we have some tracked vehicles. I'll let you figure that out, being up to some purpose. More track vehicles, as well as a wheeled one in the upper left there. Have fun identifying those. I have models of some of these, actually. And more tracked vehicles pointing up in the air, meaning something. Okay, let's go on the inner panels. You can see some folks in action. Various shots here, or views. Those are actually kind of scary. They look like they're in uh, environmental suits. You have more poses. Notice the hand gestures. It's like an engine change out. More maintenance there. And engineering more tasks going on there for something that points in the air and we're back to this one where guys are appearing out of the air and back to the middle area a little closer look you see there's a lot going on here multiple colors all sorts of stuff so this is again east german memorial scarf and doily and that also came with this kind of memorial bag here. Very interesting. A Norwegian Army olive drab belt. Okay, let's get the buckle oriented correctly. Very nice imprint there. And a full enclosure for the passage of the cloth belt material got the ends there Let's see if we can get our magnet and do a test that looks like obviously brass but this end is magnetic and has a slight bit of green to it as well painted on so again Norwegian army olive drab belt Belgian jigsaw camo helmet cover large. So we can see here a label. 1994, a letter there. And some care instructions. And more codes. Inside you can see it's kind of dark olive color. And for our stitching, you have attachment areas, our loops. They are closed loops, it appears. I'm trying to get a grip in here. No, there's some hook and latch. Okay, so they are hook and latch. This does appear to be very new and issued. And here's our jigsaw pattern. So, Belgian Jigsaw Camo Helmet Cover Large. I'll let you do the translation there. 2007. Uh, looks like October Bund, so Bundeswehr. And Naschutzplan. So, Plana, Plain. So it's obviously a mat. Rubberized. Those might, might even be ripstop from the feel of this. Very nice. Thank you. I have to check and see back if there was a promo item going on here. So 
Nazishoots plan that was included with the order. Thank you again. And last but not least, looks like we have MFH International Company Original Militar. It's our label here. British Tactical Vest, DPM Desert. And we also have a barcode. And that's how this is listed as well. Looks like we have somebody's name, number, and blood type. Got your vest, Mishi. And looks like you took good care of it. So thank you. All right. So here's our label from 2006 Waistcoat Mans. General Purpose Ops Desert. NSN number, more numbers. Nothing filled out in here. He just wrote it real clear out in the front. And then it was uh, resold here with this on there. But, uh, yeah, this is really clean. You just uh, had a spare, huh, Mishi? Okay, so nothing stashed away there. We got it over here. Okay, there's a little bit of wear on the buckles, so might have actually been used a few times. So we got a three pocket. It's a large single pocket, even larger utility pocket on this side. They all have this type of uh, strap and latch mechanism. That you can simply pull away like that. And the pouches are actually fixed and attached. At the bottom, looks like we have more buckles for further attachment points. You can attach uh, additional items at the bottom there. And continuing on this side, looks like it's all larger pouches fixed on there. Upper pouches, they're longer. This is probably here your first aid kit with your reflective surface and I'm not going to get into too much detail on some of these other straps etc on the back you can see here we have attachment points there for other packs or hydration units mesh all around so this will be your British Desert DPM Combat Vest. That's actual surplus. Also working our way backwards. Uh, we, looks like we had an add-on item here. Thank you. We also had, I know we're probably going out of order now, but uh, just happened to grab the Norwegian Army Olive Drab Belt. We also have this East German Memorial Scarf and Doily set. Let's set that aside over here. A bunch of stuff going on. And we also had a Belgian Jigsaw Camo Helmet Cover. as well as a series of flags and i'm just going to point them out uh, we had the kenya flag underneath here in our three colors we have the benin flag and over here to this direction we have the uganda flag and if i can find it which i've already missed Placed under here, I believe we started off with the French or France flag PVC in OD olive drab. And these all came from uh, Army and Outdoors. Feel free to check them out. Large variety of items, Army and Outdoors. This has been another unboxing video. Feel free to check out other unboxing videos on the channel. We also do 
show and tell videos on vintage mill surf tools and expanded topics. We do a series of book review, media reviews, and a series called Curios for the Curious. We do some more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.